removing a water loop. Remove the tray from the enclosure. Remove the tray cover. Remove the following parts from the tray. Cross braces, dim combs, dims, M.2 backplane assemblies, drive cage assemblies, PCIe riser assemblies. Unfasten the two Torx T10 screws from each node to remove the voltage regulator clamp plates from the nodes. Unfasten the nine Torx T10 water loop screws from each node with a Torx screwdriver set to the proper torque. Unfasten the following screws to loosen the quick connect. Four Torx T10 screws on the quick connect. Ten Torx T10 screws on the rear of the node. Orient the two water loop carriers with the guide pin and then gently put the water loop carriers down and ensure they are seated firmly on the water loop. Fasten the 24 Phillips number 2 water loop carrier screws. Use a Torx screwdriver and follow the removal sequence shown on the cold plate label to fully unfasten the 16 Torx T30 captive screws on the cold plates. Push all the anti-tilt wire bales inwards to the unlocked position. Carefully turn over the water loop so one half is sitting on top of the other half.
fasten the two captive thumb screws to secure the water loop carriers to each other. Carefully lift the water loop up off the system board and out of the node.